name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's wonderful gift. The Holy Spirit comes. So. So the last story was about Jesus that Jesus has told his disciple that they will they have to wait if in Jerusalem that until the Holy Spirit comes. Let's see that what's the Holy Spirit. Jewish from all over the world were in Jerusalem for the feast of Pentecost. Jesus' followers were there too. They gathered together waiting for the gift Jesus has promised to them. So Jewish from all over the world came to Jerusalem and they gathered together waiting for the gift Jesus has promised to them. In the middle of the feast, a festival, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind that filled the house where they where they were waiting. So, in the middle of the feast festival, God's gift arrived, and it started with a sound like a howling wind that filled the house. Followers were waiting in Jerusalem for the gift he had promised to send them. Sure, Jesus' followers were waiting in Jerusalem for the gift that Jesus has promised for them. Next, something that looked like fire stuttered on each one of them. Then God's Holy Spirit fell everyone in the room, and He gave them power to speak, speak different language. So next, something that looked like fire settled down on them, and that was God's Holy Spirit. And God's Holy Spirit fell everyone in the room. And he gave them power to speak different language. <laughs> Jewish from other parts of the world heard them and were amazed. These people are speaking our language, state said, and telling us about the wonderful things God has done. So Jewish from the other parts of the world heard them that they could speak in their language, so they were amazed. This is the God's gift, Peter said. Peter explained, It was the promise long ago. It came to us through Jesus, the Messiah. The you sacrificed him, but God brought him back to life. 
So Peter is saying that it's the this is the God's gift that it promised long ago. And you sacrifice him, but God brought him back to life. Question. Where Jewish from the other parts of the world was amazed to find that disciples speaking in their language? True. They were amazed. What should we do? The people asked sadly. Turn away from evil, said Peter. Believe in Jesus Christ. He will follow. Uh, he will forgive your sins and give you the Holy Spirit. So they were like, were, yeah, and they were. They thought like. What to do? So they asked, "What should we do?" Sadly, and Peter said that turn from evil, turn away from evil, believe in Jesus Christ. He will forgive your sins and give you His Holy Spirit. So we should believe that God has died for us at the cross and has came to fix our relationship with God. <laughs> On that day, three thousand people were baptized. They were just the first of many people who would come to trust in Jesus as their savior. So, on that day. Three thousand people were baptized, and they thought that they have to turn um, turn away from evil and believe Jesus Christ. That trust in Jesus is their savior. People showed their face of after they repented and believed in Jesus. Number one, pray. Number two, speech, telling good news. Number three, baptized. Baptized was a correct answer. We also we can like pray and tell the other one about the good news. Yes, they are at the Bible story to enjoy the next time I'll read another good story then let's see you next time. Bye!